Okay, if you can't read this, it says it's a witness post. Please do not disturb nearby survey marker. And then it says for information, write to the Director, Coast and Geodetic Survey Department of Commerce, Washington, 25 DC. And this is the survey marker. Okay, this is what they call an RM or remote reference mark. Reference mark. And this actually has an arrow in it that's supposed to point to the survey station which I just filmed. And this says Scott is stamped on here. 1946 number one. So this is the number one reference mark. And uh, typically they would use uh, one, two, three, usually two to three reference marks. It changed over the years. And uh, this in here actually has got two reference marks, but one of them is, is a uh, sea level mark, and I'll show you that one next. And one thing I wanted to show you is one quarter of a mile that way is where the azimuth is supposed to be. And as you can see, there's an overpass there. Well, this would have been put in uh, in 1946, and the toll road was put in in 1956. And in 1960, when they did their check, they considered the azimuth as being either destroyed or missing. And it's either 20 feet deep underneath the surface of the overpass burn, or they removed it when they put the overpass in. Okay, now over here, we have got the sea level indicator. And this says, whoops, I just smudged it. Zoom back. This says U.S. Geological Survey benchmark. So they use this as a benchmark and it also has the elevation in it, which says it's 855 feet above sea level with a mark or a ID number of TT21D. And then there's something stamped up here. Every time I wipe this, I'm making it worse. There's something stamped up here then, which looks like a W. It's hard to tell. And so these are the three marks that we actually were able to find. We looked all over the place for some more marks the other day. And uh, that was before I found out that that one is classified as either missing or destroyed. This is what the uh, sheet looks like that they made up. Or I should say the data looks like that they made up when they uh, placed these stations in. This first page is mostly about um, where they put it once they place all these things and they um, document where they're at. Get all this data for where they're at. And then that goes on down to um, down here is uh, some other item. I'm not sure what that is. I think I knew a second, or uh, one time I knew, but I forgot again. Anyways, um, you get down to somewhere, and it tells you the uh, data of them actually finding it. I think I got two pages stuck. Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, so they got station recovery here, 1960. That's the one where they mentioned that they um, felt that it was gra uh, destroyed. Um, the azimuth mark was not recovered and is suspected destroyed. And uh, like I say, they put the tow road in in 1956 and this was a 1960 station recovery. Um, then it goes down and there's a 1994 recovery and all that one basically says that it was recovered in good condition. So everything that they had listed in 1960 was still good in 1994. So it's kind of interesting. Um, you can, if you find a station, you can do quite a bit of research on them. You just go to put in a search for um, geodetic survey and you should be able to wade your way through to all the stuff then that's related to that. And I'd also printed out, this is the description of where the uh, azimuth is supposed to be. And uh, 
it had crossed my mind to maybe get a, uh, a metal detector and find that and see if I see if it sounds like it might still be down here. I don't know. It would be pretty deep if it was. So, anyways, thanks for watching.